welcome to Field and Royal Life Shooting News. And uh, this week we're looking at air pistols, but uh, for pest control. Uh, we've done quite a bit of pest control in the past by using traditional traps, but David's brought a, a wonderful collection through. Now, David, th th this is this is interesting. Literally just for pest control, this this particular yeah, that, pistol. That, that, that one really, like the, like the other CO2 stuff, gets used for fun, but really these are two that have really made a little bit of a name as being suitable for pest control. Sure. For real close range pest dispatch, for if you've got something in a cage, squirrel, that sort of stuff. Yes. Obviously, it's in the cage, you've got to dispatch it. Okay, so let's just look at the mechanism again. CO2, drop the canister in, very simple, thumb screw thread in there. Yeah. That does that, no problem at all. And then here we have it. And then we have single shot. So it just literally put seven or two two. Oh, pulls back, nice and simple. Yeah. Drop the little pellet. It drops in there. Push the ball forward and down, and that and that is ready to go on a single shot. And there we are, ready to ready yeah. to shoot. Now what what we've got really is that again because we're working CO two for pest control. Then really, I, when I'm working with them, it is I have to say it's real close range dispatch. Right. It needs to be there yes. almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people think that you can use a pistol for shooting rabbits and God knows what. I had a guy yesterday asking me about it, and, and no, you can get it just no. No, way. it does, doesn't work. You don't do it. Um, okay, and then leading on to this then, well, this is slightly different. Well, yeah. similar in similar in style. Same manufacturer. Yep. Yeah. Um, slightly different, shorter barrel. This is Sheridan, the EB22. Works exactly the same, single shot. But what we've got is because this is one of mine that I use, yeah. and I'll put a laser on the side of it. Oh, right. Because I sometimes I have to go into somebody's back kitchen or something like that, yeah. into a bathroom, they've got a rat. There's a rat under a shed, something around that sort of line. Yeah. Now, I would prefer to use a rifle, but a lot of the time you can't. Sure, it's sure. It's totally impractical. So the laser is on the side there, it's set there, and I've got that. Now I can set that laser up really, and it's generally set to about eight feet. So it means that what I can do is that I can just lean over a unit, underneath, lie down, point it underneath the shed. As soon as that red light hits where I need it to be, yes. then I can touch the trigger. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. it becomes a, really a, an, an aiming aid yes. and helps me to do what I'm doing. Well, and the other thing is quick and easy as well, isn't it? Just you know, laser yeah. dot on the subject yeah. well, matter well, well, and dispatch, know, you, isn't you've it? You've got to do that. Yeah. And if you're lying down on your side underneath the shed, sure. Or in a bathroom yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, difficult. And, and, then you and can't that, do it. No, that makes life very easy. And I know it? one pest controller that that, that that had these off me. His most strange one was that he pulled a rat head from the back of a dash panel on a car. Really? Yes. And that was the first job that he used it on because he got a rat at the back of a dash <laughs> panel in a car. <laughs> and he could see it, but he couldn't get at it. Okay. And he weren't going to put his hands up there and grab <laughs> quite, quite right. <laughs> and, and again, this this is this is a different again. It's considerably larger. But it, it, it fits in again. It, it, it was designed very much as a pest control pistol. Right. When I got involved really in doing mink dispatch and stuff like that with British Waterways and so on, because they want to and they have to dispatch a mink in a trap. They've got to do it on the riverbank right, or on okay. the canal bank. Yeah, sure. Can't move the trap because of the human because of, of stressing the animal. Yeah. Ideally, they should be using rifle, but because of the public perception and the fact that for years we have spoke to people and said you cannot walk down the canal bank with a, with a, with a rifle bag on your back. Sure. So they went down the pistol route. Now that is one that, that, that I had done, and really we're running up at about 5.6, 5.7 foot pounds. And the idea is really that it is for real close range mink dispatch, yes. particularly. It takes a big 2 2 slug, um, and because we've got the power, then it gives us the penetration. But I mink it actually works slightly better in 177 than 2 2 because of the bigger velocity. Oh, right, okay. Because a mink skull is like a, a Klingon, it really is various layers of, 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 of skull and, uh, sure. and an old one is quite thick. Yeah, sure. But no, that's uh, they're very interesting. And, and, and I, I do believe that you play quite a role in developing this one. That, well, that one that w w was developed very much for me because yeah. I went to the manufacturers and said, I need. This is what, <laughs> this is, this is what I need. Then you, you and the manufacturers have got together and that's been the end yeah, result. Yeah, and, and, and really they, they sort of... And, and again, does a really fine job of work? It, it does a cracking job. Yeah. And, and sensibly, you, you, two and a half hundred quid, really. There you're sort of hundred-ish, 
70, 80 quid, 110, you grab that, that's going to be about 170 now. Yeah. And you're about two and a half hundred. Well, Dave, thanks very much indeed for showing us, you know, the, the, the nicer side of it, but also the practicalities from the business end as well. So thanks very much indeed that's for showing right. us. Much yeah. appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.